In this video, we're going to have a look at using existing workflow information to extend or create new business processes. This includes cloning existing workflows, the copying of nodes within a workflow, and the exporting and importing of workflow definitions. We start off in Hornbill Administration where I can drill down into one of the applications to access its list of process workflows. Now looking at an existing workflow, we can see that it consists of a number of stages and each stage with its own workflow. And then we have the definitions behind each individual node. Now there will often be cases where you'd like to reuse these configurations with either within this process or another. So I'm just going to go back to the list of workflows and here I'm going to select from one of my existing workflows uh, the copy option where I can create an exact clone. I'm just going to give this the name of new process. Once viewing my new workflow, I'm now able to select one or more nodes and use the copy paste feature to take this information and use it elsewhere. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the copy And then I'm going to create a new stage and then use the paste option to transfer these nodes over. Now, without saving this configuration, I'm just going to go back to my list of, uh, of workflows and I'm going to open up another one. And we'll see here now using the paste features, I'm able to transfer those nodes from the previous workflow into this one. I'm now going to select these options, delete those and add the newly copied nodes into my workflow and save. Now finally, as part of your configuration, you might have the need to be able to transfer a workflow from one Hornbill instance to another. So we can start here with the option to be able to download this entire configuration to your local file system. And then here we have the upload feature where again, you can then upload that save configuration into your, your other Hornbill instance.